What's up guys, this is a video on how to cut and modify an IKEA Kallax shelving unit. So right guys, this is the IKEA Kallax shelving unit, which I have put together and I have done a video on my channel. But this actual video is on how to cut and modify it. So I've actually bought two of these units and uh, I've fitted one unit exactly like this and I need to fit another unit on top of it. But what's happening is, is that there's not enough room for the second unit to fit on top. So I need to modify it and make it fit. So I thought I'd do a video just in case anybody want, anybody else wants to do the same or is thinking about doing the same. So if you can see on here, I've, I've made some markings where I'm going to actually cut the unit. there's another line there so basically I just need the uh, bottom up to here this bit only so I'm going to cut all that off there and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to strip the top off and I'm going to put that on top of there afterwards so right guys I've actually uh, stripped down the unit now so you can see these shelving units been totally stripped down and I've got these main pieces out here. So I've made the lines and they're ready to cut. So right guys, I've uh, cut the pieces of wood now. So they're all chopped down. And this is what they look like. And like I said to you, they are hollow inside. So basically this is the problem we've got next to deal with. So we have to put the support back in here so this is all supported. Plus we need to screw in through here on either side to put the top on which is over there. So what we're going to do is basically strip the pieces out of the offcuts what I've got left over. And uh, these are the dividers. And the dividers and shelves, if you can see that, they're hollow inside as well, but a thinner version. But at the end, you can see that there's a chipboard at the ends of it. So the next step with that, I need to make the holes inside them. So this is the piece I'm going to use. So luckily, like I said, this is a divider, it doesn't take any weight. But luckily it's got the wood which is long enough on this side, so I don't need to put a fuller piece inside. So the only thing I'm going to do with this now, simply, I'm going to put this piece of wood next to it. And I'm going to mark off where the holes need to go exactly. And drill some holes. So them dividers can go back in. Right, it all depends on how this piece is going to come out now. Hope it doesn't be a pain in the arse. Right, oh, sorry about that. There we 
we're going to split these apart. That's got a thick piece in on this side. leaving that piece on but it's stuck to the uh, back panel actually so I don't know if it's gonna do that Let's see if I can pop this piece off without breaking the other piece lovely so we've got another piece we might be able to use but this piece is all right so far Let's see if we can do the same thing to the other side. So that's the one with the thinner side. One side's got a thicker side on. Weird. So let's put this in here. This one apart. <sighs> Let's hope that's done it. So that's all right. We might be able to use that. This is okay actually. I like the way the wood's on the side here. So, shame it's, is it long enough? Oh, it is. Oh, that works out perfect actually. This is what I'm gonna end up using. I'm gonna slot this in perfectly like here. I'm gonna put that in there and I should be able to drill through that piece. Same with this piece, I'll do the same with this. Yeah, it works out nice actually. Oh, it's a bit short. Why is this one shorter than the other one? Oh, that one's a bit short, but not as much. Hmm. Right, we'll see where they go now. We'll see if we can get these original pieces we wanted out. Right, at least that one's out. So we can use this one. Let's have a look. So yep, I'm going to end up using these pieces. Right, I'll come back and decide. So 
So right guys, I've actually stripped the pieces I needed off and I was going to originally use this piece here. So I was going to use the laminate piece and stick that over it. But I decided not to because nobody's going to see it and uh, the wood wasn't thick enough and then to guess the hole and this, that and the other, I thought it's not worth it. But it would have gone on nicely if you can see that. But I decided not to use that piece and stick with the original piece which is there. So what I've done is, I'll pull this one forward. So I've done this piece already and I've glued this into place and everything. It's just going off now and uh, that's the original piece. So off the original piece I did have to cut a little strip off each side to slot that back in and uh, I had to put the little pieces of wood uh, what we're going to screw into back in and they were glued in as well so I'm going to do that now and I will show you how I did that so this is the piece and you can see it's all hollow inside so I've got some PVC glue here Well, the only stuff I've got left. So what we're going to start off by doing is getting these pieces here. And I'm going to just put some glue on it, PVC glue. So I've got the glue on there. And we're going to fit that on the side here. Like that. We're going to do the same with the other piece. And put some glue on that. This is the only glue I've got left, so I'm lucky it's still doing the job. Same with this piece, we're going to stick that on this side. Right there, pushed into place. So this is the original piece, and this is the piece I actually cracked. So I've glued that back together, it seems solid enough, but uh, it should be fine. Once I've glued the sides down and everything, it should be totally fine. So we're going to glue this bit now. It's starting to go off most of this. Just need it to do this job and we'll be fine. So I'm just going to... Put it all over the sides. I'll put some on there as well after. I'll just do these sides. side
happy with that. Just gonna get some more glue if I can. What's not going off? I will stick some. Took some on these side wood pieces. So right, that's that. Just in case I need some more. So now we're going to put this piece back in. And uh, we'll see if we can be careful with it. It's slightly big. Yes, it is slightly too big. So I'm going to have to cut that. Sorry about this, I'll have to cut this piece, it's slightly too big. to place now. That's perfect that. Quite happy with that. The last thing. So I'm just going to clamp that and let it glue into place. So I'm just going to make sure that's low enough. So right there you go guys, uh, that's done, I'm going to let that go off a bit and then I'll come back and finish completing the video. 
So right guys, the next thing we need to do is drill some holes into these pieces of wood. So these are the dividers again, and uh, we need to put some holes in them exactly like this so the wooden dowlies can go through. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've got a 6mm wood bit. So I'm going to give this a go now. Just put another piece on the side to support it, to sandwich it. So that's one side. Quite happy with that one. Hopefully it'll be big enough for the uh, wooden dowly to go through. I might just quickly test it. Yeah, that's perfect size that. So a six mil is, is a good size to use. So next we're gonna do the other side. That's one piece done. I'm happy with them too. Next piece is this piece here. So right guys, I'm happy with them two pieces. So they'll be ready to use now. So right guys, I'm gonna let them go off and then uh, we'll come back and put everything back together again and see what it's like. So right guys, I'm uh, ready to put it together now. So we're going to start putting it together. Um, grab this piece here. So we'll just get one of them wooden dowlies. We'll put that in there. Just gonna line these up to the holes. So 
So right, that's lined up. We're going to put the other side on now. Same thing again, we're going to line these up with the holes. Just gonna slide this forward. So we've got four of these screws in the Allen key, and we're gonna start putting this back together. So I'm just making sure they're lined up. So we're going to do the other side. So now we're going to turn it over so we can do the other side. Just having a quick look at it. this other side Right, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to stand it up. So that's what it looks like so far. 
So now we're going to put the dividers back in. So right guys, that's the divider back on. Now we need to put the top back on. Just push that down now. So it's looking all right now. All we need to do is put the last four screws into the top. So hopefully everything will line up for me. Just thinking, where did I put that Allen key? Found it, it's in my pocket. Right, um, if they don't line up, just uh, drill it down with a six mil and it should be fine. So. So that seems okay. I'll go to the other side now. Just making sure you can see everything. drill this one I'll try a different one come back to that one These are not lining up, I might have to drill these. Right, let's have a look what's going on. This should really line up. See what's 
see the see what this one's like this one's going in very easily so it must not be lined up on either side yeah that's a good fit two out of four is not too bad is it let's have another go at this Might have to drill these two. No, it's not doing it. Time to get the drill. That's made any difference. No. So right, we're going to drill, drill these two pieces out. Don't know if that's far enough. This one seems to be biting now. This one's going in now. So 
So right guys, that's it put together now. I'm quite happy with it so basically this is how you modify a IKEA Kallax shelving unit so right guys I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, having problems fitting it in and um, thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye